and it ended up being just a beautiful night for Thunder. I know it was a little cold, but a little the rain... chilly if you weren't prepared. Yes, that's exactly. for sure. Yeah, and temperatures were in the lower 40s, kind of typical. We've certainly seen worse. We've seen sleet on Thunder before. We've also had the hottest Thunder ever last year. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. realize that. It was 87 degrees. Oh my gosh! Yes, so quite the, the difference from today. Quite the difference, absolutely. But you know what? We stayed dry, and look how beautiful. So many visuals in the sky tonight. It was an incredibly loud here in downtown Louisville here at WHAS 11. But I know folks uh, thoroughly enjoyed it and. And uh, just love getting out and about for Thunder over Louisville. Now, as we take you into the next couple of hours, we are going to continue to see those temperatures dropping. It's going to be really cold out the door tomorrow morning. And even as you're stepping out the door in the next couple of hours, folks in uh, southern Indiana are already going to be dropping into the mid 30s, just above freezing. And then we're likely to hold on to the lower 40s at least for about two more hours. But watch this as we head into the overnight and first thing tomorrow morning. We're going to be waking up to temperatures just barely above that freezing point. So I do have a low going in the city of about 37 and you may wake up to temperatures that are actually below freezing in southern Indiana. And because of that, we do have a frost advisory that goes into effect here in just a couple of hours from two o'clock in the morning. That's Eastern Daylight Time until nine o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Because as we take a look at tomorrow, 930, a lot of us still holding on to those 30s. So we are going to be very slow to see a little bit of a warm up. And this doesn't just go for us here in Kentucky, Anna. It actually includes the entire state of Kentucky. Everybody is going to be seeing those numbers just absolutely plummet. So here we go into the daytime hours. We will see a good bit of sunshine from time to time. It's just not going to do a whole lot for our temperatures. Probably still going to hold on to the 40s through about lunchtime tomorrow and ever so slowly climb back up into the upper 50s before the day is done. So of course we have seen worse, but it is going to remain uh, on the cooler side into the next couple of days. I really don't see much in the way of a warm up really in this entire forecast period. What I do see is a quiet next couple of days beyond there, though we are going to get a little bit more active. So I'm talking about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and into next Saturday. So basically through this time next weekend, that's when we're going to be dodging showers, possibly some thunderstorms a little bit too early at this point to tell, but just kind of a heads up for you as we go into Wednesday afternoon. Most of that rain is going to be along and south of the parkways and probably not so much for you folks in Indiana, but beyond there it does look like Thursday is going to be our our more widespread day and that just continues into the weekend as I mentioned. So forecast tonight, go ahead and cover up those plants if you haven't done so already as we're waking up to the middle and upper 30s tomorrow, 58. That's all we're going to be managing across the city, even cooler than that. If you're outside of the city, we will keep the 60s around each and every afternoon. However, that is well below normal for this time of year, which is 72 degrees. We're only making it to 58 tomorrow, 60s on Monday and we'll at least warm it up a tad as we head into the latter half of the work week. Tyler.